So in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the item variance, the sum of the item variances, and I'm going to show you how to calculate the total variance. And we're going to do that in two different ways. One is based on the JK matrix, the response matrix, and the other is based on the uh, covariance matrix. I've got a file open here and uh, we've got four items which are answered by uh, eight participants. Um, and we're gonna first uh, calculate the sum of the uh, variances of the items and we're going to use the variance function and we're gonna use the variance s for sample not the population but for the sample and we're going to do that for all the answers that are given here and this is the variance and we can use um, uh, expand this for all items and here we have all the variances for all the items. Uh, what I've also shown here is the item, uh, the covariance matrix and what you can see is that the covariances um, are displayed on the off diagonal and the variances of the items are displayed on the diagonal. So uh, here we can uh, uh, see that the variances that we just calculated are exactly the same as the as displayed on the diagonal of the covariances. So what we need to do to calculate the, the sum of the, the variances for the items is just sum over all this. So to get the sum we use the trusty sum function and we sum over we sum over item one to four. Yeah, that's it. And that's the sum of the item variance and if we want to calculate the total variance then what we first need to do is calculate the unweighted uh, sums and that is of course the sum again but this time for all the participants and we need to do that for every participant and in essence we can just expand the variance function again and we see that the total variance is this one. So the proportion to the proportion um, variance within the item uh, to the total variance is this one divided by that one in the formula. Let's see here the upper parts divided by the lower part and what I wanted to show you is that that is exactly the same as adding all the diagonal values here because that is just the same as we have up here and that in essence the total variance that is available by adding all the uh, unweighted scores is the same as just adding all the variances and covariance that are available in this set. So if I just use the sum function again here and add everything up that is exactly the same as that one. So if you look at that difficult formula that we showed here, what this is saying is that you first have to sum the diagonal, uh, this one, and then add to that all the off diagonals. And well, if we're adding, then that means that it's in essence just the same by just adding everything up. So you can calculate the variance of the items based on the JK matrix or you can uh, calculate that based on the covariance matrix using the diagonal and you can calculate the total variance by calculating the variance in the um, unweighted sum scores or just add up all the variances and covariances.